Hey everybody, what is going on? I hope you guys are all doing well and welcome to another tutorial video. In this video, I'll be explaining to you guys how you can compress your videos using Clipchamp. So let's get right into it. As you can see, I have a blank slate or blank project open in Clipchamp on my browser and I have a video uploaded or imported into my media. And let's say I want to compress that video. Now, as you can see, it is a very old Instagram tutorial that I've done and I'm pretty sure that I have uh, recorded it in at least 720p, but I think it is 1080p and let's say I wanted to compress it for some reason uh, now you can manually just well downsize it like that but that won't do much uh, it'll just be displayed as that sort of small section and it won't be a full screen video uh, but the way that you can compress it is pretty easy all you need to do is just export the file you can edit whatever you want here in the timeline but once you're done you just need to click export in the top right and here you can select a couple of video qualities which you can use you can use 480p which as you can see they recommend for drafts but if you really need to you can export it for finished videos as well uh, you have 720p which are smaller uh, but faster export files and you have 1080p which is high quality and it is hd or you have uh, ultra hd which is 4k but that does require a premium subscription so keep that in mind if you want to use that you will need to uh, upgrade your membership uh, and uh, your video does not need to have 4k media which mine doesn't in this uh, instance however as you can see it does have 1080p and for some reason it won't allow me to uh, export as a gif and that is uh, because it is not 15 seconds or less so let me just drag it and drop it like so make it shorter than 15 seconds and as you can see if I click export now I can export it as a gif as well but that choice is up to you if you want to compress it if you're for example on 4k or 1080 all you have to do is press one of these smaller ones and now you'll have the option to save it to your pc save it wherever you want and that should be and as you can see it downloaded it to my pc just like that or you can just go and continue editing but in essence that is all you need to do hope you guys enjoyed and i'll be seeing you guys in another video